Hello there YouTube, this is Sombrero Sloth here with the another GIMP tutorial video. Um, they recently came out with a new GIMP called GIMP 2.8. Um, however, this is almost exactly the same as GIMP 2.6 with a little newer stuff like down here on the brush tool. They do have a few more tools. They have the cage transform tool, a crop, a airbrush, and a few more that were, we kind of might touch base on a little bit. Um, uh, I'm going to kind of do a little tutorial of how to download new brushes, which are these right here, which can make really cool designs um, <clears throat> to add to stuff. You know, I got splatter, I have splatter, lightning, smoke, uh, cool stuff like that, clouds, you know. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that, and it's really easier than the 2.6 version. Um, so please watch this if you have watched my basic tutorial of GIMP 2.6. I will include the download to GIMP 2.8 in my description. It is completely free. It's exactly like Photoshop and it's a lot of fun. So let's get started. Uh, I go to File, New, and I hit OK and I open up this box right here. Um, I made it black by going to the bucket fill, making this black, which is a preset color already. Uh, but now I have it red, and let's go ahead and play around with this. So the airbrush tool. You can still use the paint brushes that you have. I don't know why this isn't working for this. So it's kind of like a airbrush, as you can see. Hold it down. If you hold it down longer, my place gets darker or lighter. So that's how you do that. You can also click there, edit and undo um, to do something. Or you can hit redo to put it back, or you can hit... Control Z or Control Y to redo and undo. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my brush tool. Um, go down here. Um, so I have some pretty cool things like lightning. Uh, lightning is perhaps my favorite. Um, you got some cool designs here for lightning. Um, you can go ahead and I have some clouds. So I can put some clouds there. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. Sorry about that. Um, I can go ahead and make this <coughs> uh, cloud gray. Uh, I don't like that; it's too dark. Um, I can make a few more kind of clouds, I guess. Um, <coughs> I can go ahead and make this a light. I got a bluish, I guess. Uh, hit OK. Um, I'm going to go back here to my lightning. I'm going to make some cool kind of designs. So right here, the size, instead of just going through 1 through 10, making it really big and really small when you do just like 0.5 numbers, um, it's actually like a size up to 1,000, or uh, <coughs> 2,000, you know, as high as you can keep going. Um, however, I'm just going to go ahead and bring this down to maybe about 300. I'm going to do cool things like that. That they have a four pattern one. They have different cool things here. <clears throat> they have a four pattern one somewhere that I can't find. Um, you can do a lot of cool things with the GIMP. Um, as you can see, this is just a simple kind of thing right here that I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> there. Okay, that's creepy. That's the wrong thing. <laughs> Um, this is the brand that I downloaded my paintbrush from. Um, downloading paintbrushes are completely free. Um, <coughs> I will show you how to download them and install them when we're done fooling around here a little bit more. Um, here's another cloud pattern. Um, it would be great. You could do stuff like, I don't know, I mean, it's just fun fooling around. Um, you can make cool things like, here's that. Um, you know, I don't know what you, you what you'd want to do. You can do whatever the hell you want, basically. Um, so some of the, some of the brushes I I kind of like some of these brushes I have downloaded though. I must say, um, I expect to download more. So here is another cool tool I like to use. You can just kind of fool around with this, I guess. And you can always just you know. By the way, I'm just hitting Control Z really fast instead of going up to edit and undo. Um, you can, and this one, is it called Godges or Gunja? Oh, I forget what, <laughs> what the hell they're called. Um, you can do that, you can go ahead and go to your 
here. Um, I have Smoke downloaded. Smoke is one of my favorites. As you remember, uh, my old on my other video, I like to do the white smoke. Smoke so it's cool. Now, I'm not blending this in to make it look cool because obviously smoke in this design does not look good at all. I'm just kind of showing you some different stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and go on how to do paintbrushes. So this is the website called Nope or whatever the hell you want to do it. Um, they have a thousand free. I'm going to go back up here. To this. They have a grunge, that's what they're called. Um, they have free high resolution gift brushes. Um, <coughs> I've downloaded the scratches. Um, downloaded a lot of these. So let's go ahead and find one that I haven't downloaded yet. Um, the Odyssey brushes. Let's go to here. So you click that and you're going to go down here in the right on download file. Click that. Go ahead and let this load a little bit. Uh, that brings you to DeviantArt. You're going to go ahead and click open if this happens. And you're going to go ahead and wait for that to load. Now I have a Windows Toshiba, so this is where it brings me. You see, it says Odyssey, so you can click on that and make sure they're all brushes. These are all brushes, so you're going to go up here and hit Extract All Files. Now, no matter what computer you're on, most likely it will say Extract All Files. Um, so depending on what you have to do, double click, click it. Um, hit browse. That's important. Now my name is Zach, so I'm gonna <coughs> this, and it has all my things right here. Um, on the GIMP 2.6, you just have to do, do that. <coughs> hit brushes, and that's the same thing. What you're gonna do here for GIMP 2.8, you're just gonna <coughs> double click on GIMP 2.8. Hit brushes. Now these are some of my brushes right here. You don't click on any of that. You just leave it on brushes. You're gonna hit OK, and it's gonna go ahead and extract them all for you. you hit extract in here once you have that up there. Copying items, and here are all of my brushes. Now, if it has readmes in it, like some of my brushes have had, uh, that's fine. You can delete them before you extract them, but they do not show up as you can see on your brushes. There's no text tool that says read me, there's no words. So it's completely harmless. Um <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and go back up here. So once you have it downloaded on GIMP, you have to go ahead and close out of GIMP. Like save, go without saving, whatever you're making. Um so I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that. You can close out of all this. Um and I go ahead and go to GIMP again. Now if you have two point eight which I have downloaded now um, if you want to make sure you download the right GIMP, I'm pretty sure this is the only GIMP though. Uh, copyright, you know, stuff like that. Goes to the GIMP startup screen. And it has like greenish kind of stuff. There you go. Uh, paintbrushes, GIMP 2.8. Now, if you're going to download GIMP and you're not going to hit my link in my description, make sure you always look for the dog. And GIMP 2.8, if, if you tap that into Google, that's most likely going to be the first thing that pops up anyway. So we're gonna wait for that to load. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my brushes. Uh, try and click on this, and see if my Odyssey brushes are in here. These things up here seem to be Odyssey or the scratches. I'm not entirely sure which one they are. Um, oh, the, these these just um, appeared. It was just this, but now it's these. So I always look for the new ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to File New. Open, okay. Uh, go again. <clears throat> That's already black. Bucket tool, fill, cure, red. And let's go ahead and check out what these Odyssey brushes are. A lot of times you're going to have to just click on that so you're in the box to go ahead and click on them. Um, so let's see what this is. Um, so as you see, the size is 20. You go ahead and click up here. You can make it bigger again. So you can go ahead and Okay, yeah, so that's a weird brush. I'm gonna go ahead and say that. Um, Odyssey. Okay, sometimes they have the brand name or whatever they are in there. That's okay. Um, so I guess these just have some weird kind of designs. Um, I'm sure some people are into these. So there we go. Some cool things, I guess. Um, you could always do that, and you know, you. you get creative with your own mind on this. 
basically there's no do whatever you want right or there's no like right or wrong kind of thing um so you can go ahead and you can you have the crop tool where you get to cut stuff out I guess um, you do that it's kind of pointless um, you basically you know just crop things out um, airbrush is the same thing you use your brushes and just airbrushes them on for some reason um, you can hold it in one spot to I don't know, do whatever you want, make it darker, or you can just use the paintbrush and you can just click on it a lot to make it darker or lighter. So keep clicking on it. You see how light it gets, so I'm gonna go and control Z, you see how lighter it's getting. Um so that's how you do that. I'm gonna show you how to do fonts, which are this. Um I have some cool fonts downloaded, for example. Walkway, I have Walkway Bold, which is my favorite one by far. They changed this so you can actually see what's showing up on your typing, which I like. Um, pretty sure that's what it is. Um, I don't know what's happening here. Oh, uh, I think this is where you pick your text. So this is all new to me. I haven't really around with this a whole lot. Um, I think this is the size. Um, I have no clue what's happening right now. There we go. Um, so that's your text right there. Now you actually get type in the box. Sexy. So I can go ahead and do some brew sloth case. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that together. Um, I'm gonna go down here, make it a white, I guess. Go down to here, and I'm gonna resize it now. Make it bigger. Scale. Um, I guess that's okay. It looks a little not good quality-ish. I really don't care though. Um, so here's the erasing tool, transparency, all this stuff. Here's the blend tool. You just you know, hear and you do weird stuff with that. Um, now I am way kind of like I don't really know how to say this, but I'm kind of advanced into GIMP a little bit. Like I like doing a lot of my own stuff. My profile picture I have done all by myself on my YouTube account. That right there, some Brero sloth. I did. So I'll go there. Let's go ahead and wait for this upload. Because, you know, everything takes a while to upload, apparently. Can't just click on a photo. Um, anyway, I am working on my own background as well. Um, channel background. It's taking me a while, though, because that's a lot of work, I guess. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope it helped some of you guys out that are having trouble with GIMP or did not know there's a GIMP 2.0. To, uh, I said that way too fast, sorry, uh, GIMP 2.8 out, um, I will leave, again, the link to my website, I like to go on to download my brushes, um, real quick, I'm going to show you how to download fonts, um, it's, it's really quite easy, you just go to, like, a font kind of website, where you can download fonts, and you, uh, Again, so I like to go on Def Font. That's what it's called. So you know, actually, I'll just go. Okay, I don't know what happened. Defont.com. Um. So you just find fonts. Um. Basically, it's really hard to explain. So, say I like this one. I go to download. Um. Go down here to open. If something pops up saying open, just click it. Now, my computer does this for me. Um, I just get to go to, uh, let's, let's the font file, okay, so here's the font, so I click on the font file, um, it, it will say font file, not JPEG image, JPEG image is just the, the image of the text, um, and this is just readme text document, so we on, click on true type font full, uh, file, um, this, uh, pop up in this thing up here called install, so you just hit install, and it installs this font 
on everything that holds a font on my computer. It downloads it on Word, PowerPoint, anything that holds a font, which includes skip. Um, so it's called M A M uh, M B Underground. So I will type that in here if I restarted it into my font thing right here, and it will pop up. So I don't know what the oh, there it is. Um, so I hope you enjoy my video. I hope you find it useful. Um, I'm also a gamer kind of person guy, you know, who, um, I will make videos in the future. Um, <clears throat> if you guys have any games in mind you would like me to play, you can feel free to comment on this video or any video, or message me, inbox me, uh, games you would like to see me play. Um, I will start playing Minecraft, uh, Binding of Isaac, um, some of these games are here. Are the games I will be playing? Uh, Tribes of Sin, Binding of Isaac, Cave Story, Me uh, Super Meat Boy, games on Steam like The Walking Dead. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff I'm gonna start playing, so stay tuned for when that happens. And I hope you enjoy my videos, and hope you will continue to enjoy them. So this is some bro sloth, I guess, signing off. I don't know what to say. So <laughs> bye.